Okay, so I've done the hats now. Well, just quickly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the tracks I'm not using. This is because some of them are using virtual instruments and it will they take up memory if they're not there. So all I do is click on the track I want to delete and press backspace. Oh, I've deleted the wrong thing as you can see. So I'm undoing, make sure that I'm on the right thing, delete the hat. And again, kick drum, delete, don't need that snare, delete, lovely. Now the shaker, I want that to go into the right hand side. So over here in the track inspector, I can actually move it to the right. Fully left or fully right. At the moment, the only reason this works is because the shakers are VST in Cubase, as you can see, there's the VST sign. If I was to do that in Reason, I need to first of all go to Reason and find a shaker. In Percussion High, maybe I'll just take a shaker. Uh, that'll do. Now to do this same thing, and now I'm going to set up the track like we did before. So add track, MIDI track, one, we'll call this shaker reason. Glue them together, drag it down, double click on it, make sure it's on the shaker sound. As you can hear, that's coming out of both sides. The reason is, it's coming as you can hear, that's coming out of both sides. So it's right in the middle of the stereo and not right. The reason that is is because you can't pan stuff here when you're using reason. You have to go back to reason itself. Now, if I was to pan reason right, you'll hear all the drums go right, which isn't what we want. So I undo that. What we want to do is just the shaker. So if you look on the re drums, you can see there's a button here that says pan left and right. And there we go. The shaker's now on the right hand side. If we want to balance that shaker a little bit, we can turn the level down specifically on the shaker. So the synth is just as easy to do. What I'm going to do with the synth is add another virtual instrument in Reason. So I'm going to minimize here the drums just by clicking this triangle there. Then right click, I'm going to create a Maelstrom as a synthesizer, synthesizer, easy for you to say. Then click on Browse Patch. I'm going to look for Maelstrom patches in the Reason Factory Sound Bank. I'm going to try Polysynths. And uh, just something straightforward. Let me have a look. This might do it. So I've clicked on this. Now I've set up a maelstrom. I'm going to call this Reason oh, it's Synth. Then I go back to Cubase, set up my MIDI track. OK, give it a synth reason, so I know it's coming from reason, and then highlight it all. Now because this isn't on different, because these notes are exactly the same notes as I want playing, I don't need to move these around to find the sound, because they play like a normal keyboard, so I don't need to glue them, I can just drag them down straight away. Then I need to set up the output. Well, obviously, I don't want the output to be drums. I want the output to be so now As you can hear, it's playing the Reason synth. Now, if I wanted to play more, all I need to do is play it on the keyboard. Because it's all MIDI inputs going in, and it's triggering the Reason synth from the way out. So. There you go. So that's how to do that. 
Remember, I'm going to delete anything I'm not using. So just make sure I haven't got anything selected and delete by backspace. Delete the synth, backspace. And now it's changed the sound of it completely, but it sounds much better now. It's worth winding back the tutorial. It's worth binding back the tutorial to see what it sounds like. Certainly the sounds much better. And that's how to rewire using Cubase and Reason.